Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your Printify account to your Etsy shop. If you have an Etsy shop and you want to start selling print-on-demand items, you want to know how to connect that print-on-demand shop to your Etsy shop. And it's actually really, really, really simple. So here we are over on just the home page of Printify. I'm going to start from scratch as if you don't have an account. So um, we're going to sign up for one. So we're just going to scroll down here to the sign up. Um, I'm going to put in a different email because I already have a shop. So let me just get this started. And then it's going to ask you what kind of describes you best. So I have my own e-commerce store. I'm a social media influencer, I represent a nonprofit organization, I represent a company or other. Um, we're going to put I have my own e-commerce store. I'm going to grow my current business. Okay, so thank you for your time. What would you like to do? Order samples, connect your Printify store, design your custom products. Let's connect a store. That's what we came here to do, right? Okay. So in order to connect a store, you have to create a store. So this is my new store. Okay, well let's go connect it to Etsy. And right here are all the different things that you can connect it to. So we've got Etsy, Shopify, TikTok, Walmart, Printify, Pop-Up, eBay, Squarespace, Wix, WooCommerce, Bing Commerce, PrestaShop, and API. Let's just click Okay, so now it's setting up your shop. You want to name it whatever your Etsy shop is. So it's connected to my Sticker Moon Stickers Etsy shop. So I want my Printify shop to be Sticker Moon Stickers. Okay, let's keep scrolling through all of these different things we need to set up. Shipping from. I do the Printify default because I don't want it to have my like personal mailing address. I want it just to have the Printify default address. Um, order settings. So there's a lot that you can do here. Order routing. Um, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know I do not recommend order routing. Order routing is if your main product that you want to sell is sold out, Printify will just go find another distributor and fulfill your order with them. You have no idea who they've used. They use a similar product, but it doesn't even have to be the same product. Turn that off. Etsy shops are getting shut down left and right for not giving their customers the product that they said they would. Don't, don't do this order routing. Um, if for some reason you want to turn it on, you can just click that button, but yeah, no, no order routing here. Um, and then you can scroll down to your order approvals. You can manually approve your orders. That means you get an email or a text message from Etsy. Congratulations, you have a sale. You've got to come into Printify and manually push that order through. Um, you can automatically fulfill them within one hour or within 24 hours or within a set time. Um, I am going to automatically fill my orders within one hour. I feel fine doing this because I know that they're going to the print provider I have selected them to go to. And if that happens to be out of stock, I'll just go back or it won't even be able to make a sale if it's out of stock. But if some glitchy thing happens, I'll just have to go back to my customer and say, hey, I'm sorry, this is out of stock. Um, okay, tracking and notification. Um, you can receive it as soon as it's available or at certain times of day. Um, I always just, you know, tell me when you ship it, right? That's, but you know, if you're like super busy and your shop's booming and you're making 30, 40 sales a day and you don't want to get 30, 40 emails with shipping information, then you can set it up to just whatever time of day you want to know what all shipped for that day. Delayed orders. Okay, so delayed orders is like, at Christmas time, there's a rush on shipping and things start to back up and things start to get delayed. If your buyer is expecting your item to ship in three to five days and there's a delayed shipping in your Printify shop and they tell you, hey, I know it's supposed to be three to five days, but it's actually taking us, you know, seven to 10 days. 
You can choose to manually push these orders through and notify your customer, or you can just automatically have them push through even with the shipping delay. I want to do this manually so that I can notify my customer, make sure my customer is okay with that before pushing the order through. And then receive daily emails um, with order updates. Sure. And save. Store settings are saved. Okay, let's move on. Printify contents. Um, not always available for all shops. Shipping profiles. Okay, these are going to be based on what you're selling. Whatever you're selling will have a shipping profile, like I just talked about. The production partner that you're using, they might say their shipping time is three to five days. Well, that's going to be in this shipping profile. You can choose different shipping profiles from different items that you have, and you can put that on all of your items, or you can let them be automatically assigned. I choose the automatically assigning because it updates it with whatever the item is. If I'm selling a t-shirt that ships in three to five days, that's what it'll get. If I'm selling a sticker that ships in seven to 10 days, that's the shipping profile it will get. Doing those automatically tends to work best for me. And then here are some other options that you can opt into. They've got branding. If you want to put thank you cards in with each of your orders, you can pay for an insert. Um, if you sign up for Printify Premium, which I have, it's a monthly service fee and it gives me discounts across the board on Printify items. Um, I get this 10 cents per insert. If I want to put it in there, I can customize what this card looks like and what it says. And then gift messages. If you want to enable gift messages, this is a feature in your Etsy shop. You can enable gift messages in your Etsy shop. That way, if someone is purchasing a gift, they can click, yes, this is a gift. They can add a gift message. And it Etsy will transfer that over here, the information into Printify. And if you enable this, Printify will print that gift message for you. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. You log into your Printify, you set up your Printify store, you name it, whatever your Etsy shop is. And as long as you've clicked Etsy in that beginning part that yes, I'm, I want to connect to an Etsy store, it's going to merge the two together for you. So that's pretty much it. You sign up for Printify, you um, go into that, open your shop, and if you click Etsy in the beginning, tell it you want to connect to an Etsy shop, and then you log in with your Etsy username and password to your Etsy, it connects your stores. Really that simple, that is all you do. And then you can come in here and you can set up your Printify shop settings. And then you can come in and you can start setting up your products. You see I've got my stickers in here. And every product that you publish, you see this one says publish, yet this says unpublished. Every product that you publish automatically goes over to your Etsy shop. You don't have to do anything else. It goes over to your Etsy shop with the pricing that you have on it with the shipping profile that you have on it, with the mock-ups that you have already created in Printify, and yes, you can change all of that in Etsy, but it pushes everything over for you. You do not have to do anything other than publish the listing that you have created. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. We'll see you next time.